What's up everyone? This is Mini and today I'm coming at you with my build for the new American Premium Cruiser, the San Diego. Now before we get into that, a couple reminders. One, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel to help me keep making great content. About 70% of you watching haven't hit that button yet, so make sure you click it. Two, I did receive both the ship and the 1776 camo from Wargaming for the purposes of review as a CC. But let's talk about, so if you're looking for my review, the review for the San Diego is up before this video, so make sure you check it out. I will just be covering my build in this video, but let's talk about our build. So let's talk about captain skills. Now, with the captain skills for the San Diego, it's a light cruiser. So I recommend starting with last stand as your first one. At tier two, I went back and forth between focus fire training and consumable enhancements. Consumable enhancements definitely can be valuable and you're not wrong if you take it, but the D, the air, uh, the anti-aircraft fire ability on the uh, San Diego is good enough to warrant this. It's still got a really good AA suite and so I like this plus having the quicker reload time on my airstrikes considering the fact that those are, uh, for the depth charge airstrikes, it's uh, seven kilometer range so it's nice to have those quicker but you're not wrong if you take consumable enhancements at tier three you're gonna want survivability expert you're gonna want superintendent you're gonna want adrenaline rush and you are definitely gonna want heavy he and sap shells because since your guns are only 127 millimeters you get the 10 percent extra sap damage with none of the loss of ship detectability and then at tier four you're going to want to take concealment expert to get that ship detection down to 9.3 kilometers now that'll leave you with two points one of those points should go into consumable specialist to get those reload times up quicker in my opinion some people disagree there i like to have them back and i think that 10 percent difference is big and then your last point is either going to go to gun feeder to be able to do the quick change to ap if you're going to pop a main battery reload booster because you have broadside cruiser or a quick change to sap if you're going to be smacking a dd or grease the gears for the quicker main battery traverse speed. I've run both. I think I like gun feeder more, though there is still a chance I'll switch back to grease the gears. But I really do like this build, and it's a really strong build. The only thing I would change is if you have Ovechkin, which unfortunately I do not, I would run him so you get the extra uh, health that he gets on survivability expert, which makes it absolutely worthwhile. Next up, let's talk about equipment. So, for equipment, in slot 1, you're going to want the main armaments mod because your guns are very liable to get incapacitated because you have 32mm armor on them, so they get broken at least once a game. You're going to want to take Hydroacoustic Search in slot 2. While it's tempting to take the defensive AA fire modification, it's not worth taking. You don't get as much use as you get out of the Hydroacoustic Search increase. In slot 3, I love having the aiming systems mod 1 because I like that quick, that tighter shell dispersion which makes it especially good against cruisers and DDs. Slot 4, you're going to want to take prop mod. I like having the quicker speed up. You've already got a decent rudder turn so I don't see the 20% rudder shift time as being worth it. So I recommend prop mod. And then in slot 5, you are going to want to take concealment systems modification 1. Now. Exterior is a little bit tricky. So first off, for camo, I love the 1776 camo. If you get it, use it. For signals, we're not going to talk about economic and special because this is being dropped just a couple weeks before the patch where they reworked that, so it's not worth talking about these. But running boosters on it will be worthwhile for it because it's a tier 8 premium. But if you're looking for what flags you should take for this, into combat if you're going to run full. Continuous AA damage is great because you have that high AA damage. You're going to want ship speed, absolutely. You're going to not worry about Juliet Whiskey or Victor Lima because you don't use flooding very much, if at all. You want to take Sierra Bravo because that gives you a bonus both on your DAAF and your Hydroacoustic Search. You're going to want to take November Foxtrot. And then with your remaining four, basically you're going to want to run the bottom if you're going to run anything just so you have the quicker ones. The India Delta flag is especially worthwhile, the India Yankee flag, the Juliet Charlie, and then I would also run the Hotel Yankee if I was going to pick rather than running Juliet Yankee Bisso 2, but you can choose either way. And then with flags, mount whatever flags you want. Once again, if you have economic bonuses, those are going to be baked directly into your account in patch 11.6, so it's not worth worrying about that, but just run whatever flags you want. 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that helps you out and you enjoy your time playing the San Diego. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And this is Minnie, signing off.